Good morning, students. Let's take a look at our reading fluency passage for today. So notice I've written the dates down here, but it's just the dates for this week, Monday through Friday. Remember to draw a line down the middle. We're doing uh, the reading two times to see our improvement. And let's take a look at the questions first, which you only have to answer one time. Number one, what are two flowers that one would find in the garden? Number two, what are people meant to do when they visit the garden? And number three, describe one thing that grows in the garden. What does it look like? All right, if we're talking about what something looks like, remember you might describe the shape of it, what it is, what color it is, how big it is, those things you might want to put. Okay, so the garden. The garden is in bloom. The flowers are on show, displaying their beautiful colors for all of us to admire. There are rose bushes crawling up the fence with red and pink buds just starting to unfurl. Bright yellow sunflowers tower the others, reaching toward the long rays of sunshine, hungry for their warmth. The marigolds grow in a straight line. Their perfect structure is an example to the others. The pansies with the bold centers surround the fragile lilies whose petals flutter to the ground whenever the wind rustles past. Herbs and other edibles cluster together, growing and thriving on each other's strength, their scent spicy and strong. The garden is an unsettled place, always growing, striving, and thriving. It soothes and it riles the senses. Its visitors regale in its quiet strength, take heart in its vibrancy. The garden is a place to rest. It is a place to watch and reflect. The vegetables grow up through the dirt with admirable persistence. They fill out with the nourishment of the sun and the rain, biding their time until harvest. Come visit the garden. Come and see for yourself the wonders of spring and the effects of the sun. The garden is in bloom. All right. So see if you can answer the questions on your own. Um, remember, read this first by yourself before you listen to me read it. So that way you can um, hear some of the corrections if somebody isn't there to help you correct. And then um, you can also, after you listen to me read it, you can read it the second time. Okay, one thing I want us to pay attention to because we touched on this a little bit last week is, where was it? Bright yellow flowers tower the others, reaching toward the long rays of sunshine, hungry for their warmth. What are these an example of? If I say flowers are reaching towards the sun and these flowers are hungry, do you think this is a simile, personification, or a metaphor? What literary device am I using if I'm taking these characteristics about people and I'm putting them on plants or animals or things? Personification, right? Flowers aren't hungry like humans are, right? They don't feel hungry like we do and they don't reach toward things like we do. They grow. They usually grow in the direction of the sun. But this is just a kind of personification where we're acting like giving them these human qualities here. So that's a good example of that. Um, and then what do you think this means down here where it says, come see for yourself the wonders of spring and the effects of the sun? What does that part mean? What are the effects of the sun? What does it want you to look at? What does the sun do for the garden? helps it to grow, right? The effects of the sun are these plants that are growing. If you haven't had a chance to plant something, I suggest you do. It's so much fun and it's springtime. So it's a perfect time to plant if you can get any little seeds. Um, I have a couple plants that I'm growing and I'm so excited that they're growing because I, and whenever I put plants outside, they always die. But my plants inside so far, when I remember to water them, <laughs> are doing pretty well. I'm doing better now that I'm home a lot more often. So um, my plants are growing. But I would totally suggest growing a plant. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's the perfect time. And then you get to see it from a little seed. Maybe um, sometimes you have to soak the seeds overnight. So maybe you see that the seeds are soaking and then you get to plant them in a little pot, water it every day. And then you'll notice that you have some sprouts and then whatever it turns into is amazing, right? Maybe it's a flower. Maybe it's, it is an herb that you're using like basil or something that you can help use your parents um, to cook things with. So definitely try that if you can. 
All right, guys. So this is your reading fluency for the week. You have your dates. We read the questions. We read the reading. Don't forget, we're not just doing this today, but we do it every day of the week. Have a great rest of your day.